Tēnā koutou katoe te whānau e nā rangatira moa pōpō. Good morning. It is my privilege to welcome you all here today to the 2021 Hamilton Boys High School Music and Arts Awards. I would especially like to welcome the executive team and our headmaster, Mrs Hassel. Thank you all for being here at this special occasion where we have the opportunity to celebrate some of the individual and team achievements in the arts at Hamilton Boys High School and recognise the students who have been selected as the recipients of the Music and Arts Awards for 2021. This year has seen many cultural successes achieved as a school, including events representing kapahaka, drama, chess, debating, music and art. Before we get underway with the presentation ceremony this morning, I would like to welcome Deputy Head Prefect Matthew Clark to formally open today's proceedings with a karakia and mihi whakatau. Tinga Kia hora tona marino, e rungi te mato te whenua, kia tau kia whakaura pae, kia tātou katoa, ngā tuakana, ngā teina, e noho tahi nei, e rungi te pukaroko tei. Pahiri te ki te rangi, pahiri te ki te whenua, pahiri te ki te pauhiri ngā tānga tau te kingitanga, a kei tahi uariki, pae mariri ki a koe. E ngā mate, takoto wake, whakaroa. Tēnau e o mua, tēnau o wehi, e mehi atu ana kia koutou, takoto mai roto te ringa ringa o te mate, haere, haere, haere. Ki te whare tūnei, Tane whaka piripiri, te whaka piringa o te tangata, te whaka iringa o te kupuri, ki te whaata kutonu te whaka tunei, te ana pōrua. Ka tohiri e māno o ki whakaro, ki a tātou e takatū ana i te mato te whenua. Ka riri atu mihi ki te tangata whenua o te rohi nei, a ko ngati wairiri. Ka riri atu mihi ki o tātou kāko e tau tuku ana i tēnei kaupupa, a ki oro huihui mai tātou i raru i te kaupupa matua o tēnei rā, a rā te rātu hui taonga o ngā tue o te kura tātou matane o kirikiri roa, or the awards evening, or prize giving, so to speak, for arts and culture at Hamilton Boys High School. Uh, more than our staff and students, no more howdy mai, or welcome to the 2021 Hamilton Boys High School arts and culture evening, or period, so to speak. Unfortunately, we are unable to celebrate the wonderful accomplishments of our students uh, with their families. However, thankfully, we are still able to acknowledge the award winners this year, albeit in a slightly different manner. A huge thanks must be given to the school's executive staff and teachers who, throughout the course of this year, have continued to support the arts and culture at Hamilton Boys High School. Thank you to our school staff for making this award ceremony a, rea a reality and a hearty congratulations to all award winners today. You deserve it. Have a great day, team. Ngā mihi. Thank you. We all, as part of the Hamilton Boys High School community and family, provide through the arts an integral component to our school culture. While the last two months has been disruptive to all aspects of school life, including cultural events, the arts at Hamilton Boys High School were fortunate in that the majority of the cultural events and competitions for this year were scheduled and were able to take place earlier in the year before any of these current restrictions came into effect. While there were some events that were sadly unable to take place this year, including music competitions such as the Itinerant Music Festival and the Smoke Free Rock Quest Finals, I emphasise that we must focus our attention on the fact that the vast majority of events were able to take place and we must be thankful for the events that we were able to participate in. We acknowledge both the disappointment of the cancelled events and the elation of the successes at a regional and national level in 2021 in the events that did occur. That is why celebratory gatherings like today are so important. It allows us to be grateful and thankful for what we have been able to do and achieve. We must focus on the positive aspects that we can have control over and acknowledge the success that deserves recognition. 
I would like to begin today by offering my sincere thanks to the executive team and Mrs Hassel for their continuing support of the arts at Hamilton Boys High School. Your dedication and co commitment to our arts programs strengthens year by year the vast range of cultural activities available to our students. Allowing students of all levels, whether they excel or are just beginning their journey in their chosen art form, to participate in the many varying art forms that they may not have been exposed to before joining the HVHS family. All students have the opportunity to participate, thrive, experience and excel in the arts clubs, activities and groups available here at HVHS. Some of the key cultural achievements in 2021 will be recognised at the end of today's ceremony when Mrs Hassel will present the National Championship and Super 8 Gold Badges along with the New Zealand Honours Caps that are being presented to some of our well-deserving and high-achieving students. I must also express my gratitude and heartfelt thanks to all the staff, coaches, volunteers, student leaders and tutors involved in the arts programmes. Your expertise, commitment and time is what makes the standard of our arts programmes so strong. Ultimately, it is the combination of the hard work put in by both staff and students which allows us to have such a robust, varied and high performing cultural programme for all students and to achieve such great results across all art forms. Before we continue, I have one more thank you that needs to be made to a key group of students that form the Student Arts Committee. They all deserve recognition of their support of the arts at Hamilton Boys High School and special mention must go to the student leader selected to represent all of the students here today and all those involved in the arts throughout our school. Our Captain of Arts for 2021, Timothy Evans. Timothy, you have been a great representative and leader of the arts. You work tirelessly with your arts committee and have made the job of the staff you assist much easier. I thank you and your team for all of the hard work and service to the school you've provided throughout 2021. It has been greatly appreciated by all. We will miss your collective attention to detail, reliability, dedication and commitment to the school. To all prize winners today, I thank you for your commitment to the school and your chosen field of expertise. You should be very proud of your achievements. I would like to remind you that while the certificates you are presented with today are yours to take home, if you receive a trophy today, it must remain on site on school grounds. As your name is called, please walk up to the steps along here in front of the executive to be presented your award by a member of the executive team. A photo will be taken of you receiving your award. After this photo has been taken, please walk over towards the library where Ms Hudson will take additional photos of you with your award. Once Ms Hudson has released you, please return back to your seats. You are welcome to take additional photos to the wonderful photos that will be supplied by Ms Hudson if you wish at the conclusion of the ceremony, but please make sure to return your trophy to the tables here beside me before leaving the area to return to class. I would now like to welcome Mrs Hassel to the podium to address all students and staff in attendance at the 2021 Music and Arts Awards ceremony. This is a very special opportunity for us to gather together, even at a le level 3.2, uh, to celebrate what has been a very, very special year, as Mr Dent has said. It is very different for us to be sitting here uh, in the warmth, heat and sun, rather than sitting in the, the hall together in the evening, celebrating by, show, by you showing us some of your talent. But nevertheless, uh, I think it's equally as special that we have this chance to be here today. And we have to be very grateful for the fact that we are able to meet together so that we as a school can have this chance to thank you uh, and to celebrate with you all of your wonderful achievements. Because the heart of the school is here with us this morning. Uh, it doesn't matter that not everyone can be here, but it matters that we are here and that we are able to video this so that your families will be able to see you uh, get this award uh, later on. So these awards that we have here before us on the table this morning, they look magnificent uh, and they are there really as an absolute symbol. Because if we look at those lovely awards, they symbolize the gift that each of you 
has given the school today. When you receive that gift, I want you to recognize that you're receiving it with our gratitude because it's the gift of your talent and it's your commitment to Arate that we talk of so often. And it's a gift of your love to the school that you have worked so hard and that you've committed yourself so fully uh, to being the best you can be uh, that makes our school better and stronger. You've made us all a better place to be a part of and I am very grateful to you and I'm very proud of each of you as you receive your award today and I thank you. And these awards also, I think, represent a very special, very important part of our school and that's the world of arts and culture. The music, the arts and culture at Hamilton Boys High School. I often say to other headmasters that the strength of a school has to be measured by the way in which we cherish the arts and the cultural world. And that is so very true for us all in New Zealand, that a school that does not cherish the arts and the cultural aspect of life doesn't is never a strong school. Because by nurturing the world of the arts, we craft good men. And if we didn't nurture the world of the arts, then we would be remiss in our duty to make people the very best they can be. So to cherish the arts is very much an essential part of being human and creating the best humans that we can is, is our goal and our responsibility. I'd just like to quote from um, this morning. I can't leave the year without giving you a quote. So this morning I've chosen the most unlikely person to quote uh, to our Music, Arts and Cultural Awards, and that's uh, Charles Darwin, who was a biologist best known for his work on evolution. But listen to the quote and you'll see why I have chosen it. Charles Darwin said uh, very shortly before he died, if I had my life to live over again, I would have made a rule to listen to some music and to read some poetry every day. And I think that speaking as a world famous biologist who changed the world's understanding of evolution, for him to have that regret is something that we can all learn from. He wished that he could go back to listen to music and to read poetry and to be uh, sensitive to the joys of art and the arts. Because the arts and culture are what Charles Darwin realized at the end of his scientific life are what matters most in terms of becoming a full man. It's loving the arts that makes us more complete. It's the love of the arts that causes us to be able to live a life that causes our soul to dance within us, if you like, because it's a love of the arts that brings us that joy in our world that matters most. And this is so important in these challenging times. The fact that we're here this morning rather than being able to celebrate in a normal way is a challenge for us. And so our passion for the arts is even more important to celebrate this morning, gentlemen. So I would like to offer my very real thanks to everybody who's made this possible, including yourselves. A huge thank you to Mr. Dent, and a huge thank you to all of the staff who are here this morning to watch uh, and to share in your celebration, because your teachers are what has made our strength in this world possible. It's their absolute passion and their real joy for their subjects that have made Hamilton Boys High School the right place for you to be a part of uh, through your journey at secondary school. And I hope that you do understand that because they bring more to our world than they have to. And they bring it because they love you and because they love their area of the arts and because they're passionate in their lives and because they understand what it means to live a life that causes our souls to dance within us. So congratulations, gentlemen, for having that life, for having souls that are dancing within you in your area of passion, in your area of talent. Uh, and I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the executive team, uh, as we all stand up and shake your hands, to congratulate you uh, and to thank you hugely and with absolute sincerity for the difference that you've made to the world of a school that I love very much and the school that I'm proud to be a part of, Hamilton Boys High School. And we wish you all the very, very best in your future. Never forget Charles Darwin's words and make sure that you listen to some music, you read some poetry, you paint some paintings, you play some chess, uh, you do whatever writing you love doing, you do everything that you've been doing here at Hamilton Boys High School every day for the rest of your lives. Thank you all very much. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou.
Thank you, Mrs. Hassel. I would now like to invite Mr. Ashton up to assist with the award ceremony process. I now ask Mr. Power to come forward to present the first two awards this morning to our senior and junior chess champions for 2021. The senior chess champion for 2021 receiving an achievement certificate and the recipient of the Beijing Cup is Michael Lim. Junior Chess Champion for 2021, receiving an achievement certificate, and the recipient of the Wilson Cup is Daniel Loy. Mr. Powell. I will now ask Mr. Gibbs to come forward to present the two Creative Writing Awards and the Audio Visual Award. The HBHS Regal Insurances Cup for Senior Pros Creative Writing and the Achievement Certificate for Best Senior Creative Writer for 2021 is awarded to Notice Rivers. HBHS Regional Insurances Cup for Junior Pros Creative Writing and the Achievement Certificate for Best Junior Creative Writer for 2021 is awarded to Rupert Leary. Visual Achievement Certificate Award for Service to the Arts in recognition of the student who has given the most service hours to the school events encompassing the arts at Hamilton Boys High School for 2021 is awarded to Cole Gates. Baker to come forward to present the 2021 Debating Awards. The MCW Trophy and Achievement Certificate for Best All-Round Debater in 2021 is awarded to Travis Palmer. Norton Brown Cup and Achievement Certificate for Most Promising Debater in 2021 is awarded to Robert Hoskins.
the HBHS Cup and Achievement Certificate for Most Improved Senior Debater in 2021 is awarded to Logan Palmer. Thomas Simpson Cup and Achievement Certificate for Best Junior Debater in 2021 is awarded to Ishan Singh. recipient is absent today, but we will still acknowledge their success. The Kohler Cup and Achievement Certificate for Most Promising Junior Debater is awarded to Angus Lang. Thank you, Mr. Baker. I will now ask Mr. Kirkham to come forward to present the 2021 Drama and Theatre Sports Awards. The Achievement Certificate for the Greatest Contribution to the School Production for 2021 is awarded to Harry White. The next recipient is also absent today, but we will still acknowledge their success. The Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Performance in the School Production for 2021 is awarded to Jack Walker. The Achievement Certificate for the Most Improved Senior Drama Student is awarded to Cameron Norton Brown. Achievement Certificate for Service to Drama for 2021 is awarded to Harry White. The Colin Leach Cup an Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Dramatic Performance for 2021 is awarded to the Sheila Wynn Shakespeare cast. Six members of this group are in attendance today. Please come forward, Harry White, Matthew Lee, Cullen Matthew, Jarvis Buckle, Cameron Norton Brown and Leo Hayes. Achievement Certificate for Contribution to Shakespeare for 2021 is awarded to Matthew Lee. Boys High School Outstanding Senior Performer in Theatre Sports Cup and Achievement Certificate for 2021 is awarded to Leo Hayes.
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I now ask Dr. Williams to come forward to present the 2021 Music Awards. The Harborn and Arthur Cup, an achievement certificate for service to co-curricular music for 2021 is awarded to Timothy Evans. Adrian Botting Cup, an achievement certificate for the best performing soloist for 2021, is awarded to Lee Panui. Trophy and the Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Live Performance for 2021 is awarded to Albert Street. Please come forward Zach Trenwith, Jacob Smith, Daniel Humphreys and Lee J Trenwith. Scandera Cup, an achievement certificate for the best performing group for 2021 is awarded to Tritones. Please come forward Matthew Kim and Daniel Loy. Unfortunately, the third member Kevin Lee is absent today. Apologies. Nick Jeffs Memorial Cup, an achievement certificate for all round excellence in music for 2021 is awarded to Timothy Evans. Achievement Certificate for the Most Improved Senior Musician for 2021 is awarded to Gabe Hankins. Certificate for the Most Improved Middle School Musician is awarded to Elam Hankins. recipient is absent today, but we will still acknowledge their success. The Achievement Certificate for the Most Improved Junior Musician for 2021 is awarded to Wei Yi Young. <laughs> the Achievement Certificate for Best Senior Musician for 2021 is awarded to Timothy Evans.
Achievement Certificate for the Best Middle School Musician for 2021 is awarded to Jeff Gia. Achievement Certificate for the Best Junior Musician for 2021 is awarded to Daniel Loy. Thank you, Dr. Williams. I now ask Mr. Hotham to come forward to present the 2021 Photography and Visual Arts Awards. The Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Senior Photographer for 2021 is awarded to Benjamin Trotter. Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Senior Designer for 2021 is awarded to George Ballard. recipient is absent this morning, but we will still acknowledge their success. The Achievement Certificate for the Most Improved Senior in Visual Arts for 2021 is awarded to Oli Togia. The Year 12 Community Arts Awards and Achievement Certificate for 2021 is awarded to Stefan Smart. Community Arts Award and Achievement Certificate for 2021 is awarded to Kevin Liang. The Visual Arts Award and Achievement Certificate for the Best Visual Artist in More Than One Discipline for 2021 is awarded to George Ballard. Neville Grinter Award and Achievement Certificate for Outstanding Commitment to Visual Arts is awarded to Richard Clarkson. Thank you, Mr. Hogan. I now ask Mrs. Hassel to come forward to present the certificates to the nominees for the Premier Award of the Hamilton Boys High School Music and Arts Awards, the Cultural Performer or Performers of the Year. There are six nominees for this award this year. All six have achieved success 
at at least a regional, if not a national level, in 2021. The first nominee to receive an achievement certificate for the Cultural Performer of the Year is Timothy Evans. <laughs> Timothy is a member of the New Zealand Secondary Students Choir, and in addition to this achievement certificate as a nominee, Mrs. Hassel will present him with a very highly commended certificate he has received from the Choral Composition Competition for 2021. <laughs> The second nominee to receive an achievement certificate for the Cultural Performer of the Year is Matthew Lee. Matthew is a member of the New Zealand National Shakespeare Production and has recently been accepted into the Young Shakespeare Company for 2022. The third nominee for an Achievement Certificate for Cultural Performer of the Year is Harry White. <laughs> Harry is also a member of the New Zealand National Shakespeare Production and the Young Shakespeare Company for 2022. <laughs> the fourth nominee to receive an Achievement Certificate for the Cultural Performer of the Year is Tritones. <laughs> Tritones are the HBHS Premier Chamber Music Group who received first place at the Waikato Chamber Music Competition in 2021. Fifth nominee to receive an achievement certificate for Cultural Performer of the Year is the Sheila Wynn Shakespeare Cast. This group of students placed first in the drama event at the Super 8 Cultural Festival. They placed first in the Waikato Regional Round of the Sheila Wynn Shakespeare Festival and they received the Supreme Award at the National Sheila Wynn Shakespeare Festival. Please come forward. Harry White, Matthew Lee, Cullen Matthew, Jarvis Buckle, Cameron Norton Brown and Leo Hayes. And final nominee to receive an achievement certificate for the Cultural Performers of the Year is Albert Street. Albert Street were awarded first place at the Waikato Regional Smoke Free Rock Quest for the second consecutive year and had qualified through a video submission process to be one of the seven national finalist bands out of over 700 entries, a gain for a second consecutive year. I can announce the significant prize pack that was awarded to Albert Street as a national finalist in just the last two weeks in lieu of the national event. A $500 Rock Shop voucher per band member, a total value of $2,500, a recording, a professional recording of their song at a choice, at their choice of a top New Zealand recording studio, valued at several thousand dollars, a media release pack once the song has been recorded, this includes interviews and radio airtime of their song. This is funded by New Zealand On Air. And a web series to be released on December the 15th, showcasing the interviews and performances already recorded throughout the band's involvement with the Smoke 3 Rock Quest this year. I will now ask Mrs. Hassel to present Albert Street their achievement certificate as nominees for the Cultural Performer of the Year, in addition to an envelope for each band member containing their $500 Rock Shop voucher per student. Well done to all students nominated this year. It was a really strong year of candidates to be nominated for this award with so many different groups and students achieving at such a high level. You should all be very proud of being nominees. Now to announcing the overall winner of the Premier Award, the recipient of the Old Boys Cup and Achievement Certificate to the Cultural Performers of the Year. The 2021 recipients are 
the Sheila Wynn Shakespeare cast. This concludes the awards ceremony for the Music and Arts Awards recipients and we now move on to the presentation of the National Championship and Super 8 Honours Badges for Cultural Achievements in 2021. Hamilton Boys High School were awarded first place in three events at the 2021 Super 8 Cultural Festival held in Gisborne in May. In chess, senior, senior debating and drama. I will now ask the four members of the HBHS Senior A Chess Team to come forward to receive their Super 8 Gold Badges and their first place team certificates from the 2021 New Zealand Chess Federation Interschool Chess Tournament Waikato Regional Competition. The captain of the chess team, Max Stevens. <laughs> Michael Lynn. Nathaniel Loy and Ben Wright. I will now ask the three members of the HBHS Senior A debating, debating team to come forward to receive their Super 8 Gold Badges. Travis Palmer, Logan Palmer and Robert Hoskins. six senior members of the Sheila Wynn Shakespeare cast to come forward to collect their Super 8 Gold Badges and their National Championship Badges for receiving the Supreme Award at the National Sheila Wynn Shakespeare Festival. Harry White, Matthew Lee, Cullen Matthew, Jarvis Buckle, Cameron Norton Brown and Leo Hayes. Final presentation for today's ceremony are the two New Zealand Honours Caps being awarded to two students for the acceptance into the Young Shakespeare Company for 2022. This prestigious honour for these two senior students means they have been selected to travel to the United Kingdom to perform at the Globe Theatre in 2022, an outstanding achievement. In recognition of their success, I ask Mrs Hassel to award them both with our school's highest honour for sporting and cultural achievement a New Zealand Honours Cap. Please come forward Matthew Lee and Harry White to be presented with your Honours Caps.
now ask Deputy Head Boy Matthew Clark to come forward to formally close today's proceedings with a karakia before I give my final address and closing remarks. Thank you, Matthew. To all prize recipients today, well done on your achievements in being recognised at the 2021 Hamilton Boys High School Music and Arts Awards. Thank you once again to the executive team and to Mrs Hassel for all of your support of the arts and for allowing us as a school to recognise these achievements and successes today. To our departing Year 13s, I wish you all the best and success in all future endeavours. You should be proud of what you have achieved in your time here at Hamilton Boys High School, and I will trust you will look back on your time at Hamilton Boys High School with great pride. I hope all in attendance today have a joyful and happy end to the year and a well-deserved holiday break at the end of Term 4. Ke pai te ra. Thank you.